Today, according to the Vaishnav calendar, or the Titi, is actually the day that Srila Prabhupada boarded the Jalatuta. Fifty years ago, on this day, according to the Veda calendar, Srila Prabhupada began his historic journey. Just a couple days ago, by Veda calendar, fifty years ago, he, was, he went to Mayapur to receive the blessings of Srila Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Thakur Prabhupada. And Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, Nityananda Prabhu, Gadadhar Pandit, Srivas, Adwaita Prabhu, and Shantipur. Then he returned to Calcutta and boarded Jaladutta. Four people came with him. Three from the Skindia Steam and Navigation Company and his son, Vrindavan Chandra. And on the Western calendar, 50th anniversary, which was August 13th, we had big celebration in Netaji Indoor Stadium, about morning and evening, over 30,000 people came. In the morning session, Srila Prabhupada's son, Vrindavan Chandra Day, came. And he told his remembrances of seeing Srila Prabhupada off on the Jaladut. And then afterward, he was speaking privately to His Holiness Bhakti Charu Swami and myself. And between the two, his public talk and private, he explained how he went on the Jaladuta with Srila Prabhupada. And then he just saw how helpless his father was in the sense that he had According to Vrindavan Chandra, Prabhupada had 40 rupees and told him that there's no use of this because nobody wants it outside of India. So he gave it to his son. That's what he said. And he was on the boat for a little while with Prabhupada in a little compartment where Prabhupada was going to stay. And then he came off the boat and the boat started moving. And Vrindavan Chandra said, profusely, uncontrollably, he was crying, crying and crying. He said, I was so proud of my father, he was doing this. But he was so worried. It was practically inconceivable to him that he would ever see him again. 38 days at sea. Srila Prabhupada underwent all these difficulties so that Krishna would appear in our hearts. In fact, he celebrated Janmastami on Jaladutta. In his diary, he describes how they were, they were in the Arabian Sea, several miles outside of Cochin. That was before they were given permission to actually come to the port at Cochin in Kerala. They were just in the middle of the sea, and it was John Mastami. And Srila Prabhupada gave a little lecture to the sailors. <laughs> <laughs> and he cooked a little prasad on the boat the cargo ship for the sailors, and just he gave a talk, he lit a little kirtan, and he distributed prasad. And in Srila Prabhupada's mission, in his worldwide mission, that was the first John Mastami. No, we don't hear that any of those sailors got initiated or anything. <laughs> we don't even know who they are. Captain Pandya, we know his name and his wife, they were, they were very respectful to Srila Prabhupada. 
I imagine everyone was. Well, very simple. You know, they're all, it's not that they got the day off. <laughs> they were all just working on a ship, a cargo ship. Cargo ships are really dirty places, too. I was in Detroit a few years ago, and after my lecture, this one elderly gen Indian gentleman came up to me and said, I was captain on Jaladuta for many years, but they would trade off because it was really difficult. He said, I wasn't on the journey that Prabhupada went on, but I was before and after. And he said, at that time, 1965, it was already a really old and beaten up ship. So that's where Prabhupada celebrated John Mastami. And with full enthusiasm, he's giving a little talk about Krishna's appearance to some sailors <laughs> on the ship. Who were, they, they're not even exactly sailors, they're just working, you know. So simple. And a few days later, he had his heart attacks. And a month later, he arrived in Boston and New York. So from that very humble beginning, by his love, by his compassion, now there's hundreds and hundreds of Janmashtami celebrated all over the world. So as we're celebrating Janmashtami and we see thousands and thousands of people coming to hear the kirtan, to taste the prasad, to see the darshan of Radha Gopinath, to receive Srila Prabhupada's literatures, and we know what's happening in other parts of Mumbai and, what we, and what's happening all over India and all over the world, we could remember the first John Mastami of Srila Prabhupada's mission was on the Jaladuta. <laughs> and he said he gave a short talk because I guess people weren't like all of you, really eager to hear. They were just working. But you see, Srila Prabhupada had such faith. He had such faith in the holy names of Krishna and such faith in the mercy of his Guru Maharaj and the Parampara. And he wanted to share that. Srila Prabhupada explained when he was on Jaladuta, he knew the Srimad Bhagavatams were there with him. And he had complete faith in the power of the holy names. And he had the blessings of his Guru. And that's how he prepared. So, Janmashtami is a wonderful opportunity to really meditate on why Krishna has come to this world. And to feel so deeply, deeply grateful for those who have given us this understanding of why Krishna has come. And to receive. And in giving, in giving we receive the most. You were listening to Radhanath Swami on devotionalnectar.com.